Hi, Hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. Um, welcome. My name is Hope, and I do different types of videos. Lately, I've been doing a lot of prepping videos, emergency prep, um, food haul preps, and stuff like that. And guys, let me know if it bothers you, if you guys see me, if you don't see me. I've been trying to pop in every once in a while, but I'm at house. <laughs> So, I don't have any makeup or anything on, and I've been doing this for so long like this. I'm used to it. So, let me know if it bothers you, if you see me, if, or if you don't. Um, but thank you guys for coming, if you don't. Um, okay, so I wanted to share. I wanted to do this video, because it just popped up in my head, to let you guys make sure you have what you need. I know some people are going on shutdown. Um, some maybe about to, I don't know what my state is going to do. Um, I think it's like 4,000, but it's some states that are getting more cases per day. So I did go to Walmart and I know Walmart is a bigger box store. So the other stores still do have toilet paper, but I just wanted to make sure. And I hope if there's any of my family members watching this, that you have your stuff. Because I'm sure you watched <laughs> some of something that you have your stuff. I even been asking my dad. He came by this morning and um, he brought me some Lysol and he's been keeping me stock on whites from Costco because I don't have a Costco membership anymore. So um, his Costco is right down the road from him. So he can go quite often. He can pop in and get one or two things and leave. So, anyway, y'all, I just want to make sure I asked him, did he have his toilet paper? Um, after this video, Josiah's downstairs doing school. I'm going to go back and get Mama um, a big pack of this. And so, that should be a lot of toilet paper for her. So, I had, I just, again, want to make this video also to share with you my first aid supplies up here. Because I share them in different hauls. And um, if you didn't watch every single one or if you missed one, you didn't see everything I picked up. So that's the main reason why I want to do it. But just make sure you have your personal care items. I did put this on my community tab because I don't share um, this stuff all the time because these hauls, I usually coupon for my personal care items and it's a little difficult to share. Um on top of what I normally share on my channel. Because couponing by itself is a full-time job. Prepping by itself is a full-time job. De home decorating, whatever you're doing, is a full-time job on top of homeschool, all these other things, cleaning, cooking, uh, making sure everybody turns their work in, do their homework, taking care of yourself. If you already working, it's a whole lot. So, and YouTube by itself is a full-time job. So... This, this is the reason why I wanted to do this video, just to make sure you guys have your stuff and I don't share this stuff here all the time. But I'm sure you guys probably have seen the video. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the basic stuff, make sure you have your dishwashing um, liquid. Make sure you have your shampoo and conditioner. I do share with my family. So my dad um, just got some Tresemme. So he wanted some shampoo and conditioner. And um, I probably would have more than this, but y'all, I have taken a break, not from couponing, not, not saying taking a break. I haven't said it out loud. I just haven't been couponing at CVS probably in three weeks. And um, Dollar General in a month. I went in there yesterday to see what the toilet paper looked like. But other than that, make sure you have your shampoo and your conditioner, your hair products, all those things like that. I Some of you have also asked, Hope, can you share your um, couponing tips? I feel like there are lots of YouTubers out there, but I know sometimes you want to hear from a certain YouTuber. So I'll share what, probably in the coming weeks, what I do, um, especially being crunched on time, having my hand in different things. Um, what exactly stores I go after. But if it's something in particular you want to see, let me know down in the comments, y'all. So I have hair products. Some of these I have not tried, so I made sure that I do have in my bathroom. And this shelf is crooked. 
I do have in my bathroom stuff that I normally use just in case like this stuff doesn't turn out as great as I want it to be, if that makes sense, y'all. So I was excited always to try the Shea Moisture, which I got on a really great price, but I have not tried these particular um, types, but I have tried the Shea Moisture and I was a little disappointed, y'all. Just a little bit. <laughs> so even though I have the Suave uh, for natural hair, is it only for natural hair? No, just the Suave um, hair products, I have not tried them. So I do have my favorites back for backup make sure you have your mouthwash if you need mouthwash um make sure you have your little cups to go with it i only have two and then also make sure that you have your toothpaste and your floss so i have some floss over here make sure you have the floss for the kids not just um, for the adults if you have like tight teeth you can also get this stuff like at Dollar Tree too y'all so you don't have to break the bank or you don't know how to coupon that's fine make sure you have your toothbrushes my husband and my I don't know why my light came on all of a sudden my husband and my dad like the hard toothbrushes which they are not good for you so I try to get the medium and if I see hard then I'll get it but I'm like, y'all, y'all, y'all are not supposed to have hard toothbrushes. Then also make sure you have your kids' toothpaste. So I got these on a really good deal for Sasa, but they run out of the tube really quickly. So he's wasting it, filling it up with water, just wasting it. So I went to Walmart and they were actually cheaper. Or you can go to Dollar Tree and get the Kids Kiss kids crest toupee so i got him three of those you have your soap so i got the zest i think at food line a really good deal cvs mainly um and then i do pick some up from sam's from time to time i have some there um there's some tucked back here in the back and then i have some soap over here some dove shea moisture caress and olay so um, I have realized somebody's been in this, probably Catrill, because I only have one missing. I have realized that to use the Dove, and I have opened up a lot of the individual boxes, so I'm getting a little low. <laughs> yeah, I only have one or two left. I'm getting a little low, so when they're on sale or whatever i need to make sure i pick some up even though i have these other others here but i like once i use open up something i like to replenish it and then i'm starting to have this wasn't completely full over here anyway but i'm starting to have like just a few gaps here and there um giving it away so make sure you have your soaps if you prefer body wash make sure you have those um, I know Suave is more affordable, but some people don't really care for it. So just do what's best for you. If you know you have a certain type of skin type, like eczema um, or super dry skin, if you have, um, I mean, if you have eczema, then make sure you have your correct lotions that you need, especially going into the winter. So I try to make sure I get the Eucerin for JJ for his dry eczema skin my skin can get dry the vaseline jergens whatever you like make sure you have your shaving cream i only have those two because those are the only sales that i have caught and then jason has a lot up under his up under his sink that i didn't even realize he still had from couponing um a while ago and then also you can get them from dollar tree too y'all so don't break the bank if you don't have these items, I just want to remind you guys what you need. Okay, so let's go over the first aid items. Um, this stuff was just here first, and I mentioned that, but let's see. Let's go over this first bin, and I have this at the top of my banister, and it's the same width as, it needs to be wiped off, as the banister, so I don't really worry about nobody knocking it down or anything. If somebody knocks it down, um, I think most of these bottles are plastic and no one's over there on that side. When they knock it down, they're probably on this side. So, okay guys, so I created a little space here so I can 
show you what's in each one. I got these bins from, I think, the Dollar Tree. Some of them did come from Walmart around back to school time. So right now, this is working great for us. Um, but I know if I get more stuff, they are already overflowing the bin. I did pick these up from Home Depot, but I know everything won't fit in here because I think I used something similar to this. No, a little bit better though. Sterilite, I believe, for my son's college stuff. So I do have some videos on that and I will also link the medicine cabinet of all the medicines that we have. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I have up here and then if I can remember everything, what is in the medicine cabinet. I'm also doing this for inventory for myself. And then also, you guys, let me know if I'm missing something. Hopefully, I won't forget anything in this video um, to mention that I have in my head. So, I do know there's one thing that I don't have, which someone mentioned, which is yeast cream. So, I don't have that. Okay, y'all, so in this bin, I try to separate it by cold, cold tummy stuff. So this one is, I guess, tummy stuff. So I have these Walmart anti-acid tablets. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, the Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Gas Relief Chews. These are, I got couponing. Okay. No, this is not all tummy stuff. So let's pull out everything. Or digestive stuff. I got this enema. So if you think you need one of those, they're good, especially if you're you just had a baby, especially a C-section. Um, this is for um an acid reducer. So I need this. I got this, I think, from Dollar Tree. Petto Bismol. We don't use this a lot, but just to have it on hand. The um hemorrhoid suppositories. I got those. Did I buy any wipes? Oh, I did. I thought so. So I got some preparation wipes. I didn't get a big pack. I just got um, the little flushables or totables. There's another Alka-Seltzer. I'm using one now. So mama said to her, I think I gave her one and I have one. So she said that these to her do not do as great as the chalky light tablets but to me they're okay i got some benadryl so forgive me y'all everything is not totally in order so some benadryl from the dollar tree i do have one already i have some um what's this magnesium citrate just in case if you need to clean yourself out or if you have an upset tummy i have some stool softener and what you also want to do, guys, is to make sure or to use your um, health savings account. Um, I think the health savings account rolls over, but if you have like a flex spending account that you have to use the money by the end of the year, now's a good time to stock up to make sure you have your stuff for the winter and to use that money if it doesn't roll over with you next year. I have the nasal spray. The saline nasal spray. And a lot of times you need that for little kids. And the Emodium AD anti-diarrhea soft gels. Um, some of these things I already have. I think I already have some of this. But I just wanted to make sure I had um, a backup and a, one that had a longer expiration day, date. Then I got this Afrin, Afrin nasal spray. I haven't tried this before, but I saw it at the Dollar Tree. And I thought it'd be good to have as well. Okay, y'all. So, in this bin, I have some Tylenol pain reliever. Pain and fever and pain reliever. Fever reducer. Alka-Seltzer plus and cold. Um, I know I have some regular Alka-Seltzer. I haven't purchased any more already in my bathroom. So, like, you know, if you eat something like a pasta dish or something like that and you just need to settle your stomach, that really helps. I got some of this elderberry liquid sugar-free from Walgreens, and I believe this is for children. Is this for children? Yeah, ages four and over. And then I got some Theraflu. 
So a lot of the stuff you guys probably already saw in a haul, but just in case if you missed it because I had it sporadically in different hauls. Um, Theraflu, multi-symptom, severe and cold, and severe, severe cold and cough. I like to use, especially if I have like um, a sore throat strep or something like that, or just not feeling good, I always go back to that. I guess my mama and dad used to get it. So um, the day quill, severe cold, and flu and NyQuil. Um, my parents didn't use this too much, the Vicks, too much growing up. But I know since Jason and I have been together or we've been, um, someone's been sick, he will, he would like, you know, mention this. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it. Um, also, the um, Sambrocol, Sambrocol um, Black Elderberry Coat and Flu Relief. This is the 60 count family pack. And I didn't realize I picked up two. This is a 30 quick dissolve. Both of them are quick dissolve, but 30 and 60 count. I think um, I had more, I was able to find it at Walgreens versus anywhere else. I think Walmart, this was like at the beginning and I believe Walmart has, um, has it in stock. So you just want to get those things, but get it in moderation according to your budget, y'all. Um, but again, see if you have a health savings account or something like that. I know with ours, I can use it at CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart. Um, I don't know about any other places, so usually I go those places um, to use it. The z um Nighttime Sleep Aid, I have not tried this before, but I thought this will be helpful to have. Um, I did see um, in the, I'm in several bariatric communities on Facebook, and I did see where someone posted last night about insomnia. insomnia. So I do have that um, even more so. Um, I don't know what what they do when you have surgery to trigger that. But if I take, like I mentioned this before, like all of my vitamins, like B12, and I took my iron, and I take my vitamin D, it's tough for me to go to sleep. Um, I know I do will have, ca I will have caffeine, but I usually have like one soda or something like that early in the day. I had to be really tired to anyway it's a plus in a way because i remember i used to have to take naps um being tired but anyway someone mentioned this z quill was something that they take to beat the insomnia 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 <laughs> after bariatric surgery so i haven't tried it for that i just take my benadryl sometimes or my melatonin and i already have that so that's something else you want to pick up. The Tylenol cold cough and sore throat. So I picked this up in the bubblegum flavor for the kids. Okay, y'all. So in the next bin, I have some zinc, some vitamin C, some zinc. I have some one a day women's 50 plus. This must be for my mom. I've got must got this couponing. And I don't even give this to my daddy. He just came today. Men's 50 plus um, vitamins as well. Dang, he was just here. I need to put that on the banister so I won't forget. And then, um, and I've been slack on the vitamins, y'all. So I know you can't have it so much and then they expire. But this day and age, we need to take, make sure our immune um, are up to par system. And... That's another thing. Like, I know I've been getting coupons, but I have not been taking advantage of them. And, yeah, they don't expire to next year. But, you know, you have to usually, what's that, a 40-day supply? Um, have enough for the next time. So, you won't be paying out of pocket. Okay, I got this Centrium Adult. So, we do have the hard cap hard tablets in case um you know we run out of gummies so the centrium energy multi haven't tried this before i got two of those i got that coupon at walgreens i have some vitamin d my vitamin d is always low i think jj's was too um when he went one time and did some blood work so i make sure i get that um the vitamin c um super orange i think everybody should have this um, sometimes I know at the beginning of the pandemic, I may have been a little paranoid, but I have like sometimes 
when you're breathing through your mask, your mouth is open. I have to catch myself in the store. Hope don't breathe the air. <laughs> Even with your mask on, with your mouth open, and I will come home, y'all, and my throat will literally be um, a little sore. So I would take this, and my husband was like, you ain't had no corona, and then took that, and you was okay. <laughs> and I was like, shut up, Jason. You don't know, because, you know, some people are, you know, they're fine, and then some people are not. So um, I got some more zinc. I didn't realize I had two. And then some vitamin C. So I'm glad I did do this little inventory of my medicines. Okay, guys. So make sure you have your cough drop. So I got this big thing from BJ's. I love BJ's. I don't go there that much, but I love BJ's. But also, um, CVS had the Luddens for little or nothing not too long ago. I think I did get one from Walmart. And then you also can coupon at Dollar Tree and get the cough drops, the little bags of cough drops too. Usually they're like two, a dollar off of two or something like that. And you get, you may pay 50 cent for one bag or something like that. So make sure you have that. And then I hauled this not too long ago, the fiber powder for Jason. Um, he likes that. Make sure you have your alcohol y'all. So a little bit at a time, it really adds up. So I have several bottles here, um, three, six, seven, eight, nine, um, at least about 12 bottles, y'all. 13, that's the one over there, and your hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. So every time I would see it, I make sure I'll pick it up when I'm in the store. You can use alcohol for making your own sanitizer. You can add a little bit more to the sanitizer and bottles that you already have. Or you can just put it like in a spray bottle um, and use it as a sanitizer itself. Um, I like to use 70% or higher, but I heard them now say, is it 60% or 65 or, or is it 68? Something like that. I don't know, y'all. Just check the CDC website. But um, do watch your expiration dates on your hydrogen peroxide because stuff like this can have... Is, it can eventually leak or expand and you don't want to mess. I think, I think, yeah, I think it expands. Also, like if you have cleaning products with hydrogen peroxide, I heard a lot of couponers say just watch the expiration dates on stuff like that because I think it can expand or it can leak or it won't work anymore or something like that. I think it will leak. And then a lot of you all said um, get the bleach tablets instead of the bleach itself because then eventually the bleach um, doesn't work anymore in the bleach. So, okay, let me show you guys what else I got. So the bleach that I do have, I make sure that I rotate it and I use what I brought in first. So I'm going to start putting dates on it. So I know the three big bottles I got from Sam's to use those last i think i only have three bottles under here now it looks like a lot but only three bottles right here so since i was talking about the first aid items um i'll go ahead and share this i just shared the gauze pads in a video i did pick up some more band-aids i do have some several in the bathroom i got some cortisone 10 i remember getting that through couponing at dollar general and also dollar general has some affordable first aid and um coupon stuff and then they have like where you can download digital coupons so if you don't have any paper coupons you can use their digital coupons so don't feel like you have to have paper just to you know scroll on there and see if they have something that you need and just put your phone number in at the keypad when you check out make sure it's the right product and you're saving using coupons so i got these large ones from dollar tree if you don't want to fool with the coupons right now go to dollar tree um the benadryl itch stopping cream i think i got that from walmart and the liquid skin i only have one of these i haven't tried this i probably should have got another one i got that from dollar tree this little first aid kit if you don't have a big one we have a big one i think we have two um 
you may need to go through it, refreshing it, see what's in it, what you need to throw out, and then maybe pick up a little small one, maybe for your car or something. I have these gauze pads I got from Dollar Tree. And then also Dollar Tree has this same brand here. They have these little alcohol pads. So I have seen them in there recently, but maybe hopefully you can find them too. Some more quarter zone 10. Um, some gentle tape from the Dollar Tree. Um, this should be somewhere else. This is actually a little sewing kit. Some paper tape. Mm -mm. Some waterproof tape. Is that all for his first aid? Um, some self-adhering elastic bandage. Dollar Tree had this and I wanted to try. It's the same thing, but it's just black. The bandage tape. I got some Q-tips. I had two packs, but Jason opened it up and that's fine. He needs it for his ears. So, um, JJ, Josiah and him have the most runniest ears. So I don't know if that's one of the reasons why too, he may have issues being dizzy every once in a while. We have to see, but he has something called D Brocks and I'll go get it out the room and show you guys. So if you have an issue with wax or your kids or something, you may want to pick you up some D Brocks and we got that from CVS, um, an earwax kit. Okay, y'all. Okay, guys, so some things I do have duplicates of because I got it couponing. So you may not need but one of these. And so I do have some um, Tylenol Pain Reliever, the CVS brand. And I did just open up one of these. This was like a freebie. I don't remember where I got the other one from. But we have like several, we don't take a lot of medicines, but we have several like bottles. One time I was just going to just buy it every time somebody needed it and that was really careless of me and I should have just checked. So we have like several bottles. That's why I had to redo our medicine cabinet of ibuprofen, of the naproxen, and also for the extra strength Tylenol. Because I usually use extra strength for um, cramps. I used to I used to only use ibuprofen, but um, extra strength works better for me it worked where it works for me and it's better for you so ibuprofen they have a lot of dangers that you shouldn't use it a whole lot anymore so anyway i got the biofreeze large patch this was like practically free i think it was overage at dollar general so if you need pain patches if you need a heating pad make sure you have that are you done breathing because you was breathing kind of real hard son <laughs> He was coming up the steps. He was just all in my business. Okay, y'all. So, I got some Roto eye drops. I think these are a little of nothing. So, if you need them for dryness, redness, um, get the ones that you need. Um, I think I picked some up from Harris Teeter. The clear eyes, it was like little or nothing. So, I got these. I think I did give Mama some. So, I had a little bit more. Is that all I have? And maybe some in the bathroom. Then I have several of the leave that I got just about free at CVS. And then I have, um, this is not medicine, but it's just right here. These little deodorants and stuff. So these are neat to put like in your bug out bags if you can catch them like couponing or these little um, shampoos and stuff. These are always at Dollar General either a money maker or overage or just about free centrium silver mama uses this kind and i pulled this out for her i think this is my last one like this so i hate that i was not diligent um with couponing because usually with couponing it's a rotation so you don't want you want to keep going with it because if you don't then once you use it up you may not have any more so hopefully some coupons will come out for that okay y'all so i have my women's vita fusion i love these i already have some so it was getting low so i went ahead and purchased another you can get these like at sam's 
or BJ's, um, but I get them at usually at Walmart. You can get them at CVS. Um, this is the vitamin C. I think I purchased this. Um, where did I purchase this? In a double pack. Maybe from BJ's? I don't remember. But anyway, they love vitamin C. So, um, I usually try to keep one already on hand. I try to keep an extra one on hand. I have the Nature Made Vitamin C here. I think I got that from Walmart. Here is their, their vitamins. They already have, again, some already open. Oh, I guess I didn't show that long enough. So I didn't even know Walmart even had these. I know some people may be particular about where they get their stuff. And you guys have let me know in the comments um, to watch where I get my stuff and to read the labels from certain countries. So um, as well, I got the activated charcoal. You guys told me about this. Um, this is just in case if you have like issues with your stomach, such as food poisoning. So I have heard about how this is beneficial and really helps if you get food poisoning. So I went ahead and ordered this off of Amazon. And since I ordered this, I also ordered the same day cloves. So you guys also told me to get some whole cloves and they're in my pantry actually downstairs for toothaches. Yeah, for toothaches. So I got that. Because you don't want to have the dentist clothes or you can't get to the dentist right away. So I did pick that up. And I think that's all right here. Hold on, y'all. So make sure you have or if you need a new one or um, if you have sinus issues, if you have a Yeti pot. So I got this one from Dollar Tree years ago um, when I was <laughs> at Dollar Tree all the time. And this will come in handy if we need to use it nasal cleansing pot for cold and allergy um relief so we have not had to use it um this is our first aid kit that we have and we we may have one more if you have any supplements that you may need um fish oil your biotin hair skin and nails you need melatonin to help you sleep at night um, also B12, I have it in this gummy flavor, so I'll remember to take it, but I do have it in the tablet form, caplet form. Um, also Miralax, I make sure I have this. Um, this is for, um, to soften your stool for constipation. And then also, um, if you need some essential oils, I know I use lavender at night and cedar wood in my diffuser. And I got these from Aldi. I think they do did just put some out. So check your Aldi for stress, stress relief, calming, and something else, y'all. Um, and then their, theirs is um, pure essential oils. So I do use this at night sometimes to help me sleep. Um, if you have allergies, make sure you have your allergy medicine. So I like to use Allegra. So you didn't see that because that's already in my bathroom i pull this stuff out and also the flonase um this is equivalent to flonase it's a cvs brand your nasal spray so we haven't opened this up um but we had one already it can be quite pricey i try to get the stuff that is non-drowsy yeah non-drowsy formula um if you prefer claritin get that your Zyrtec, your Benadryl. I usually just take Benadryl if I'm going to sleep at night. Zyrtec, boy, that stuff wipes me out. So I don't even, um, I don't really, not Zyrtec. Yeah, I don't even fool with Zyrtec too much. Um, there may be some other allergy medicines out there, but I can't really think of them. Um, if you have asthma or any other, you know, diabetes, make sure you have your um, insulin, all that stuff. So I make sure Trail has his inhaler. He needs to go get his physical. I was just getting on him when he left here, um, going somewhere with his girlfriend, y'all. But they handling business, going to the DMV. And I was like, y'all be safe and make sure y'all wash your hands, social distance, wear your mask. Do you got a clean mask? And make your appointment when you come back. Everybody else has been to the doctor, but he had like he got to do everything else in the world. But anyway, y'all, let me stop. Before I get off on a tangent, I already started. Um, but make sure he goes to the doctor so he can get a new inhaler. 
um, for his asthma. If you have a nebulizer machine, make sure you have that up to par and then also um, the albuterol or whatever that goes into the nebulizer machine. Trail doesn't use, really use that anymore, but if you do, um, as well, I got Jason's um, prescriptions. I need to go pick up mine today. So just make sure you pick up and get extra prescriptions beforehand. So some things that we have in our medicine cabinet, like I have the naproxen, um, that's almost out. Some stool softener, almost out. Um, this is the acid reducer. I made sure I picked up some more. So I just checked these dates not too long ago when I clean everything out. We do have some baby aspirin, so make sure you have this just for emergencies. We don't have any issues like that, but just in case they don't cost that much, and I think three came in a pack or two came in a pack. Um, this is my Allegra that I do get from Walmart. It's compared to Allegra, the Equate brand. Um, but I do get it from CVS sometimes. I ordered this at the beginning of the pandemic, the elderberry. I have heard some good things about it to use, and some people have said some not so good things about it. Um, I actually heard it from a pharmacy friend. So I do have the liquid elderberry. I got that off of Amazon. Some vitamin D here. Um, I do have this, and today I need to pick up my prescription for my iron. Iron, um, the slow fee, and this is this works if you're using a calcium supplement because some you can't use calcium, you can't take your iron pill with your calcium or vice versa um, because the iron will absorb the calcium. So this right here is good um, if you need to get your calcium in. Uh, mainly that's the issue with absorption, absorption with. Um, bariatric surgery then i also have a probiotic as well guys in here um some more b12 and some magnesium so the magnesium i heard was good if you um i got this a while ago um was good to help you boost your mood if you're just like always kind of like in a sad mood and it does help it does work i don't think it's like a mental thing but it does um help and work it probably helps for other things too but if you're just feeling sad and depressed and just icky um i know magnesium is good for that so i don't know what else the other reasons for it sorry y'all this kind of out of order these are the little alcohol prep pads that i was talking about that you can find at your local dollar tree showed you guys some mucinex because i thought i purchased some oh i need to go check but i have the mucinex dm in the tablet form because i thought for sure i had some the emodium ad is almost gone um some more benadryl and then i think this is sinus no it's cold and flu okay cold and flu nighttime and i think this is sinus nope cold and flu daytime this sinus yeah day and night sinus medicine make sure to guys that you have like a cold um compress you can use like a bag of peas or something like that this one came from the dollar tree i think i purchased several of these and then i have a thermometer make sure you have those i do have some of these little um sleeve things that you can put the thermometer in i haven't purchased one of those forehead ones i think they are really cool but I haven't done that as of yet. Um, make sure you have these little um, measuring cups and stuff. Um, I think Dollar Tree does sell them, I think. Or you can ask your pharmacist for them. And then also um, the syringe as well. So you can also ask them for those as well. Also, guys, make sure you have some Imodium AD for your little ones. Um, I realized I did not have any for Sasa. Yeah, we have a bunch of these little cups. I forgot where I purchased them from. Uh, maybe from, maybe from Dollar um, Dollar Tree. I don't remember. Make sure you have some allergy medicine for your little ones. Like if you have seasonal allergies and stuff, you may be fine until if you only have like spring allergies. But just make sure. Um, as well as this yeah compared to allegra so i have an extra one of these um i have an extra one of these nighttime flu and severe cold and cough 
I may have picked up some of this stuff like at the beginning of the pandemic um, before I really got into prepping. So, a lot of those I think are for Sasa, which he doesn't use too often. I was picking up stuff and I was like, Hope, you gotta start checking to see what you have beforehand. Um, I do have a little inventory sheet over here, but I have not even filled it out, y'all. So I need to do that ASAP. Okay, so if you have like some aches and pains, you wanna make sure you have your pain patch or like some aspirin cream or something. I was using this when my feet were hurting me really bad around this time last year. Um, my plantar fasciitis, it will like flare up every couple of years. So that's what I did. Um, if you need some um, antifungal um, powder spray for your feet, um, as well as if you need some vapor rub as well. So we have two of those. You can get them from Dollar Tree too. Um, some Icy Hot in case you're at home bored and you're working out and you hurt something or you're just sore. Some um, hydrocortisone cream. I think I showed that earlier. If you work outside, I do have a whole nother bin down here of... Um, skin protectant, sunblock, and stuff like that. If you work outside, you may need to have that. Um, this is some preparation H cream and stuff like that. That's our little medicine cabinet area. I need to turn that bin around because I made labels and everything. And so everything else is our overflow. I didn't show um, the aqua seltzer because I already used it, but you get 36 in here and I don't have to use this all, all the time. So I didn't buy any more. So this really helps if you have an upset stomach or anything like that. It just knocks it right on out. Okay guys, so the rest of the stuff or right now that I'm gonna show is more so of my stuff or self-care stuff. So let's start over here. Don't forget, like if you have any special like medical equipment, like I, well, I didn't mention that, but if you have a special medical needs, so I make sure I have my distilled water, which I put um, over here. I need to clean this out. Now I got this idea. I was like, we won't even using this. So I just started stuffing stuff <laughs> in bins. So now I have to clean this out and find a place for it. So distilled water, I do want to get a distilled water machine. I have a CPAP machine, so I have to make sure I have distilled water on hand. Also, if you need like new equipment for your, either you have a breathing machine or um, oxygen machine, I should say, or whatever it may be. So I need to order a new hose, maybe a reservoir or um, a mask or the straps that go on it. Um, also, this is the cleaning solution. I shared this before, y'all, when I did like a tour, and I love this, and I need to order another one because I'm down to this bottle, and it's like a saline, um, no, it's not a saline solution. It breaks down, breaks down to saline solution, but it's like a, um, it kills viruses, and it doesn't have like a strong chemical smell. Sometimes I will spray like alcohol in the reservoir of my CPAP, but I use this too. Um, okay, so for self-care, y'all, when I'm feeling stressed or I just feel like I just need some peace, I'll get in our um, tub, our garden tub, and I don't all the time, but get in there and I use this Epsom salt, and then I'll put this bath and body oil in there sometimes because I don't like, I like to get out the tub and feel squeaky clean. So if I feel super dry, I will use the Dr. Teal's um, bath and body oil moisture. Just need a little bit and you'll feel so much moisturized when you get out. And I love using Epsom salt when I get out, um, get in the tub. Um, they do have a body, it may be under my sink. They do have a bubble bath and some other products. Um, Big Lots has a lot of them. So check out Big Lots. I think it's about the same or as Walmart or maybe cheaper. So Big Lots has a lot. Um, if you use like a special water pick, make sure you have your stuff for that. Um, I use a, this Oral-B um, brush heads. And I need to, I have one in here. You get two in a pack and I need to change it out. So this is a replacement brush head. So I have one of these toothbrushes um, for my teeth. 
that was recommended from the dentist. So, some stuff I don't even get into the dentist. Or, of course, they try to, you know, they'll say, I hope you need this, you need that. And I may not get it right away, but I'll get it. Also, they recommend it, which I didn't bring out here. I grind my teeth at night. And then I have a mouth guard, and I don't even use it all the time. But a mouth guard, so if you need one of those, get one of those in your little um, stash. Also, my teeth are, like, really tight together. So I have this... Um, this is the refill pack, but it's like a long, it's almost like as long as a, it is as long as a toothbrush and it's like a floss pick. So these are the little refills for that. So I made sure I have that. Then for self-care y'all, I love these two candles, Comfort from Bath and Body Works and Relax. Um, is it Relax? The sleepy one? I think it is a sleepy one that makes you go to sleep. I think it is. If not, they have one. They also have a stress-free one. I keep that one in my craft room and downstairs sometimes. I burn it. Um, but if you don't like candles, you can use essential oils in the diffuser. Then these um, salt scrubs, Mama told me. I was complaining about something. She was like, you need a good salt scrub. So I got this one from Trader Joe's. I love it. Um, I think I was looking for some different ones too first. And I got this one first. I think this one came from Marshall's. And then I have another one in my bathroom. I don't like that one too much. But, you know, once you buy it from those stores like Marshall's Home Goods, you know, you kind of stuck with it. And then also, I just picked up some random masks. I think I got these from Dollar Tree. But I have some that I got from some other places. But these are the ones I picked up first. So you can, you know, give yourself a little spa treatment when you're at home. And I love to, which I've gotten really lazy with painting my nails or giving myself a little um treatment nail treatment or pedicure or something like that so don't forget that y'all so you want to just treat yourself or you want to do something different if you're not able to get out and um go to the salon or the nail shop to get your feet and stuff done you can do it yourself i did pick this up i haven't used it yet the purifying charcoal gentle foot mask but i thought it was like a paraffin wax but it's not but you can purchase those from sally's i used to live in sally's y'all but i don't go in there too much anymore and then i got this little um petty thing for your feet and I like that. It comes with another little attachment. These came from Walmart. I think I did haul these one time. Um, this right here, callus remover. This is also a callus remover. So, and then I bought a little foot spa too. So if you want to, you know, give yourself a little spa day at the house. I do have the little scrubbing thing, but I keep it on my cabinet. So when I get in and out the shower, I scrub my feet. Make sure you have your shaving essentials. Um, Jason has a different position now. So he still has to, he, you know, is real bristly. So he still has to shave his um, facial hair, but uh, not clean shaving like he used to be. So I do share some of this too with my dad, but I haven't really, re I haven't had to get too much and it, you know, it lasts for a little while. And then some for myself, share with my mom. Um, you know, if you just want to feel fancy. I haven't did it, but I need to do that. Because I I have a friend. Hey, Melissa, if you're watching, she said sometimes she just get full face. And she just sits in the living room. <laughs> and I haven't did it in a long time. If I ain't going nowhere, I don't fix nothing. And I shouldn't be like that. So if you just want to get fancy, y'all. This is a good reason why to coupon as well, y'all. I think I did show this. I don't know if I did recently or not. So some of this stuff I can give away as gifts um, for my niece. I need to, um, and my mom. So some of it's for me, but I need to um, give some away as Christmas gifts. And I have really been slack with the makeup deals, but um, this is a good incentive, y'all, why to learn to coupon. So this winter, I would encourage you to learn how to coupon on top of whatever else you're trying to learn this winter um also i want to give you guys the tip if we do go on lockdown and we only can go out for essential items this is usually what i did when everybody else was i don't know what everybody else was doing 
But most of the couponers, they were concentrating on laundry stuff because everybody else was not really concentrating on, they were trying to get their hands on paper. They were trying to get their hands on cleaning stuff, wipe sanitizer, and we were building our laundry stockpile because that's what you could find on the shelves. It may have been a little scarce, but not really. Um, so this is what I did uh, when if I I learned how to coupon and I built up my laundry stockpile. You, it's no reason I go in these stores and I see where people have gator tags, sensors on these laundry things. If you learn how to coupon. You are not paying any money out of pocket, Harley. If you have extra care books, you're using that to pay for stuff. There's no reason why people should be stealing um, laundry laundry stuff. I understand, you know, money's tight or something like that, but you shouldn't be stealing, period. When you can pay a dollar or 94 cents for pods, 94 cents for pods. So, and I'm sure somebody, you know, spends that probably in something that they don't have no business buying. Um, but anyway, we're not going to get off on that. But it's just frustrating, you know, when you go in there and you know you do what you're supposed to do. And you have to make sure, like at Family Dollar, for example, and they have gator tags on it, like, this is clothing. And I'm like, you don't have to spend 8 and $5 um, clip download the app and clip the coupon and boom if you only clip one coupon you're paying two dollars or three dollars for some laundry detergent it costs you five five dollars um eight dollars or something like that no reason at all just takes just a little bit of time and to be more aware so anyway get off on that that's what we did was we stocked up on laundry stuff um, so just make sure you have your laundry stuff. If you see the cleaning stuff, another tip, um, find out when Dollar Tree or the stores get their truck. Ask them when they get their truck. Don't wipe them clean. Don't um, abuse it or anything like that. But like pick up one or two of their limits and leave it at that. And before you know it, you have several. So, you know, I don't buy any anymore. Right now, I may pick up one or two if I use one or two or if I give away one or two. Simple as that. Your coupon, you can also coupon to get these items too. Um, I don't necessarily use poise, but I can donate them when I get around to giving them to, some, to someone else. Um, but yeah, a lot of your things, your hygiene items, you can coupon. Don't forget your deodorant and... Um, if you have like a family member that's able to get something for you. So my dad, my mother-in-law's basket is still sitting here. So we have not given her basket yet because we have not seen Mama D since February, y'all. Maybe January. Um, and I don't know how my husband does it. But um, of course, we talked to her on the phone. We were FaceTiming her by Google Google something. I forgot what it's called when you can FaceTime people when they have an Android phone. But if we take her basket to her house, she's going to make us come in. She already done said that. So we have thought about that um, and dropping her off some stuff, ordering her some groceries or something. But she's going to make us come in. And she is taking the pandemic seriously. So back behind here, I just wanted to say what that was. This is her Mother's Day basket. So, some, so if, if I see wipes, I pick them up. I don't show them a lot in my hauls. But if you have a family member that has like a membership at a different place and they're able to pick you up some items, then um, help them out and give them something for their time and their trouble. So, my dad, I've been loading my dad up with some stuff when he comes. And then he goes to, I love these wipes from costco so he says they are there all the time and so when he comes he brings me a box of wipes so my dad gets me these wipes and at first he was just bringing me like i think at first he just brought me one because it was hard to find them and then he brought me a whole box and i was excited because i love these from costco the kirkland brand with the scrubbies and i used to did not like wipes that had the scrubby pads in them, but I do. I 
the first time, yeah, these were the first ones he brought me. And then he brought me a whole box. And then so when he brought me a whole box, I didn't realize it's a whole, it's not a whole box of these. It's just two of these and two of these. And these are just the regular wipes, which they are okay. I mean, they're good too. But I love the wipes because, especially these, they're really wet and juicy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you have a family member that's able to get in and get to the store more often than you, especially these big box stores. So, my dad lives like right down the road from Costco. So, he goes in and um, him and his father-in-law and they go in and they get um, the wipes and then also the Lysol. So, dad, daddy brought me uh, several over here. I think Trail got me one. I was able to find the off-brand myself. But then today he brought me a whole package. So, I was really happy about that. And then I loaded him up. That's why I have a gap here of some laundry items. Okay, y'all. So, make sure you have your cleaning stuff. Again, a lot of it either I got it from CVS, Walgreens, um, Dollar General, really. All of the Mr. Clean Walgreens. But again, um, some of the Mr. Clean and the Fabulosa doesn't kill 99.9% .9 germs. So just watch that. Um, the sanitizer. So I don't think the germ X, I think that Dollar Tree one up there is recall. It's okay. So I've told you guys, if you follow me on Instagram to follow couponing, I'll put her channel down across the screen. And she, I think it's couponing mom. And she posts a lot of like deals, but you have to be really quick and go over and post them. And one night I was up late and I was able to get a lot of sanitizer. It took a while to get here, but a lot of sanitizer. So I have a lot um, from that. I think I did like two boxes of each one, but I had to wait almost two months to get it. Make sure you have your dish detergent. I think I said that um, your oven cleaner. Um, if you need to clean your windows and then it was something over here. Oh, it was some Drano over here on this side. So make sure you have all of those things. Um, again, I have missed out on so many sales such as like the renews it spray, not renews it, but the cones, the glade sprays just totally missed out on them. But those items are not necessarily, um, preps, but you still want your house to smell good. Oh, also make sure you have some toilet bowl cleaner. Um, as well, but I have those little wand cleaners for the toilet wand. That's what I'm using right now. I think that's the box here. And then make sure you have some Kleenex. So in case someone gets sick or they have a runny nose, they have their Kleenex. You have your Kleenex. So guys, I think that's everything. I don't know how long this video is going to be and how I piece it together, but I think that's everything that I wanted to share um, to make sure you have in your preps. Please let me know down in the comments if I forgot something. I'm sure I did as far as first aid. Um, I may have it, but I may not share it. Again, um, someone mentioned, just in case if you have a yeast infection, um, I don't have that. Some things I do forget because I may not have an issue with. Just like food, I may not pick it up because I don't like it or no one in the house eats it or yeah and I just forget to mention it but I still want to hear from you guys so thanks so much for all your help you guys helped me prep along this journey um some of you all need your own channels <laughs> because y'all are awesome I mean y'all know more than the people that are prepping we're learning from you guys in the comments so thanks so much guys for watching bye bye don't forget your stuff, y'all. Please get your stuff. Because I hear so many people last time they were venting about their toilet paper and so many other people. Tell your friends and family. Because they are they be all on Facebook fussing about, oh, I ain't got my toilet paper. Oh, who took off? Y'all, tell your family. Tell your friends. I've been trying to tell them. I've been trying to tell them. All right, y'all. Bye.